श्री पराशक्ति विद्यालय सी बी एस ई क्लास एथ सब्जेक्ट इंग्लिश गुड मॉर्निंग माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट लेसन टेन इन यर ग्रामर बुक द टॉपिक ऑफ द लेसन इज रिलेटिव प्रनाउंस एंड रिलेटिव क्लासेस ऑलरेडी वी हैव स्टडीड इन द प्रीवियस क्लासेस एंड ऑफकोर्स यू नो वॉट इज मीन बी प्रनाउन एंड वॉट इज मीन बी क्लास जस्ट रिकॉल What is mean by pronoun? Pronoun is a substitute of noun. Yes, you know very well. And the classes, it is also a group of words containing a subject and a predicate of its own. It is known as a class. See, in this class we can know about not only a pronoun classes, we can see about relative pronouns and relative classes. So all of you take grammar book, take page number fifty one. Okay, dear students, take page number fifty one. First, we can learn about relative pronoun. See the definition: relative pronouns who, what, which, whom, whose, that, not only refers to some noun going before, but also join two sentences together. See what is mean by relative pronoun. the words the following words it is not only refer to after after uh, or going before a noun but also join the two more sentence with the similar meaning so the sentence together it is known as a relative pronouns the words you should keep it in your mind who who is refers the person if you are going to mention the any person in the sentence we just use a who and what their action which of course like uh, actions what they are doing whom the mention the person whose also mention the person that mention the things or object so these words you just remember whenever you are going to write the relative pronouns these words only you should add which are the words just recall who what which whom whose that so look at the following sentence i met namya namya had just written it uh, it has two types of sentence we just relate the together i met namya here the first uh, sentence it mention the person so we just use which word who yeah i met namya who had just written why we are add the who can you know that yes namya is a person see the second one i have found the diary i had lost the diary here i have found the diary it mention what they found which so here we can use a relative pronoun which so see the answer i have found the diary which i had lost third one Here is a story book. You had lent me the story book. Here, it mentioned the story book. So here, the which relative pronoun used that? Here is a story book that you had lent me. Dear students, remember that first, which are the words we are add? Who, who, which, and that. Next, we can see about combining sentence by using who or whom. who is in the place of subject study the following parts of sentence carefully we can join them in two different ways the first one i know a young man here the young man has been to canada so how we should write i know a young man who has been to canada here it mentioned the place of subject young man Second one. Here is a doctor. The doctor cured me of dengue. Here, here is a doctor. It mentioned who the doctor. So we can use the word the relative pronoun who here. So the answer is here is a doctor who cured me for dengue. And second part. The thief stole my wallet. The thief was punished. Here the thief. The first sentence when we are going to add the relative pronoun the thief it is a person so we just add who the thief 
who stole my wallet was punished second one he does his best he should be praised how we should add the answer he who does his best should be praised so dear student take page number 52 the previous page we have learned about who whom in the place of subject here we are going to learn who whom in the place of object object means you know what in a sentence it refers so the object form of who is whom but this is considered very formal in spoken english we can use normally who or that in the place of whom we should use whom only when a preposition placed before it preposition means position of the things so first we should understood which is the what is the position of the object see the sentence there are two examples given the boy is deaf you spoke to the boy how we should write the answer the boy who you spoke to is deaf the boy to whom you spoke is deaf both are correct or correct answers second one the girl bowls very well you see her there what is the combination and how it the place of object remember the girl whom or who you see their bowls very well so understood the difference between the who whom in the combination of subject and object so that's all here in the page before uh, before we are going to finish they are given test yourself so that is a book back exercise roman letter 1 and 2 given combine the following pairs of sentences using who or whom this you can done in your home next class we can discuss the answer for the book back questions okay page number 53 third roman also we can done in your home we can discuss later now we can see combining sentence by the use of that and which already we learn about the compi- uh, combining sentence of who and whom in the place of subject and object now we are going to learn about use of that and which both are given the similar meaning listen first that and which in the place of subject we can use that or which for the things already we know without life and for animals which is more formal study the following pairs of sentence carefully we can join them in two different contexts it means two different ways so see the example i have lost a watch the watch was a gift from my father here it refers i have lost watch that is a object so how we should write i have lost a watch that or which both we can use uh, both words any words we can use them okay any should be a correct answer i have lost page number 54 second one a the house is for sale i used to live it live in it how we should write the house in which i used to live is for sale okay combine the two sentence which a word of which or the house that i used to live in is for sale both words we can use i already told you to write which are that both are correct answer we cannot say the house in that i used to live it's for sale so that is a wrong context so remember when you are add the relative pronouns the meaning should be clear so next we can see test yourself book back exercise there are three romans given combine the following pairs of sentence using that or which already for whom or uh, which given the homer now there are three romans given uh, you just done in your home next class we can discuss the answer for all the test yourself okay page number 55 combining sentence by the use of whose of which in the possessive sense first one the boy's bicycle had broken down the boy walked to the school here the possessive case is boys so how you should write the answer the boy whose bicycle had broken down walked to the school so the possessive case remember if it is a person you just write the relative pronoun who 
if it is a normal pronoun you can write who or whom okay second one the team has won i am a member of the team how we should combine the team of which i am a member has won okay so that's all combine in the sentence use of who's of which use in the possessive case if it is a normal noun or a pronoun we just use only a who or whom okay uh, again test yourself there are two romans given first roman combine the following parts of sentence using who's or of which and the second one the options are given you just read the sentence of pair and the suitable use the suitable relative pronouns so here uh, this is you can done in your home page number 56 now we are going to learn relative class so in this lesson there are two topics relative pronouns and relative class just now only we completed relative pronouns clearly now we should going to learn relative class first we learn about class already you know a class that begins with a relative pronoun it is known as a relative class or adjective class it has two names relative class or adjective class both are same only to join the relative class with its a principal class the following words are used relative pronouns which are the words you know who who who's that which as but here relative adverbs when where and why here remember the relative the word we just uh, maximum it should be the question words look at the following sentence we can understood the relative class the first one the girls who are playing there are my cousins here it refers the class the it mention who is the relative class here he is the man whom i don't like here whom is a relative class she is a girl whose purse was stolen here whose is a relative class you can take the pen which you like here which is a relative class and fifth one he has cut down the tree that grew in his garden that is answer and sixth one we saw the house where nehru was born here it mentioned the relative class that is known as where he met me on the day when i was leaving for delhi when she told me the reason why she had faith why it is a reason so dear students remember relative class it begins with a relative pronouns relative pronoun which are the words you know so that is only we can use here also but it uh, in the position of class okay it begins with a relative pronoun so test yourself there are uh, complete the following sentence using the suitable relative class second one join each of the following parts of sentence using the relative class so you can done in your home page number 57 b roman and third one pick out the relative classes in the following sentence so listen we completed lesson 10 today from the page 51 to 57 so in these pages which are the book back exercise given to you you can try in your home next class we can the we can discuss the answer for all the book back questions okay so that's all my dear students study the definition of relative pronouns relative classes read one more time then only you can understood the concept very simple topic only remember the pers whether it is a person or object or things you can uh, write easily to join the sentence using the pronouns and relative pronouns and the classes thank you we can see in the next class